Rachna Kamenini. Uh, colleagues, uh, it's a privilege for me to be here this afternoon. Uh, the reason why I wrote this book is because in recent times I've seen a breakdown of the communication between parents and children. Uh, children these days uh, want to be raised very differently to the way their parents were raised, whereas the parents want to raise children the way they were raised. So that really results in a conflict. Also, this generation with the access that they have to technology, gadgets, numerous extracurricular activities, and also the academic pressure, have very little time to communicate with their parents. And so this barrier continues to grow. So how can one actually break this barrier? How can one actually communicate with uh, one's children better is really what the crux of this book is. So while one can uh, at best read, and 17% of children are actually embarrassed if their friend see them reading. Uh, one can talk to them about one's own experience, but then as we know, uh, that turns out to be a sermon, and, and we should perhaps uh, remember what um, Charles Wadsworth had said. By the time a man realizes that maybe his father was right, he usually has a son who thinks he's wrong. So what I've tried to describe in this book, uh, based on my experience as a parent and as a pediatrician for 20 years, is how one can actually try and build a relationship, build a bond, and I've shared through anecdotes, through lots of stories, through examples, how one can actually uh, try and understand how a young person's mind works. And, and I've given examples, for example, with, with our son, when he wanted to buy an iPhone, I thought it would be a great opportunity in lows of Steve Jobs' life and determination. Or when we were seeing the Soccer World Cup uh, inauguration in South Africa, um, it was a great opportunity really to talk about uh, forgiveness and Nelson Mandela because there can't really be a better example than that. And uh, so this is what this book is about. It's about 18 values. It's about uh, 50 do's and don'ts. And uh, I've tried to uh, share a little bit of I was uh, reminded of what um, Mark Twain had said. When I was a boy of 14, my father was so ignorant, I could hardly stand to have the old man around. By the time I got to be 21, I was astonished at how much the old man had learned in seven years. So this book is dedicated to all the children I've had the privilege of uh, looking after over 20 years, and I hope that it's of benefit to both parents and children. Thank you.